Hello, welcome to Career Log. Here I am going to explain you about the accounting terminologies. Means various types of terms which are used account under the accounting. Capital. Capital is the total investment made by the particular person in the business. For example, if you want to start up a business, whatever the amount you will invest in the business, that will be called as the capital. And if you want to calculate what is your capital, then you can calculate the capital as total assets minus total liabilities. That is, the difference between the assets and liabilities will get the capital. Accounts payable. Accounts payable includes all the expenses that a business has incurred but not uh, but not paid. Means here the company or a business has to pay the amount to some other persons. The requirements or resources has been taken by the business but the amount has been not yet paid. Such type of things are called as accounts payable. And accounts receivables means here the amount should be received by the company means it includes all the revenues that a company has to provide but has not yet collected payment on means goods given on credit whatever the products you have manufactured the products has been handed over to customers but the amount has not received by the company they are called as the accounts receivables assets Assets are those things which are having the value and these are owned by a particular person or a particular company regarded as a having value and these assets will go for meeting the commitments of a particular business. For example, the machinery will be considered as an asset. If you purchase the machinery, you can you can perform your production activities through uh, machinery. So like that, assets are those which will be having certain value and they are owned by a particular company or a particular person and they will go for meeting the commitments of your business. Assets will be can be two types current assets and fixed assets current assets are those assets which will vary according to the situations and fixed assets it will remain constant for the in all the situations expenses the amount which you are paying for certain persons for a service rendered by the person or the amount which you have paid for the resources consumed so like that whatever the amount you are spending either for its service or for the resources purchasing will call it as a expenses example you can give it as a salaries paid to the employees employees are working for us they are providing the service so we are paying the salaries and and rent paid to the particular land or building which is used for your office all such type of uh, amounts will be called as the expenses liabilities liabilities are the amount of cash or other affirmed to be paid in the future to certain persons means here the company has to pay the amount to certain persons either it may be for institutions or it may be for a particular persons for example you have taken a bank loan the amount should be repaid in the future time period that will be considered as a liability or you have taken a some amount with a particular person Son, who is called as a creditor to the company so you have to repay the amount in the future so certain types of things are called as liabilities and again liabilities are also two types short term liabilities and long term liabilities revenue the income which is derived from the business activities means whatever the business activity you are performing by performing those activities whatever the amount or income you are generating that will be called as a revenue book value the book value literally means the book value literally means it is a total value of the business according to the accounting accounts maintained in the organization which are reflected from the financial statements if you want to say theoretically the book value is the total amount of a company which gets from the assets are sold and liabilities are paid back means here book value can be said as literally as well as theoretically literally it means the value 
value of the business according to the accounting books and theoretically it is the total worth or total amount of a company if the assets are sold and if the liabilities are paid whatever the amount remaining that will be called as a book value book value is the amount that the company's creditors and investors can expect receive if the company is liquidated fixed assets fixed assets are those assets which can be used for longer time period for the business use and fixed assets cannot be converted easily into cash or within a one year one financial year we cannot go for converting the fixed assets into cash the examples you can give it as the manufacturing equipments real estates and furniture and are called as plant all these are the fixed assets it will be used for a longer time period and these are called as a tangible assets which are used for the business purpose current assets current assets are those assets which can be converted into cash very easily within a one year of time period in the previous we have said fixed assets which cannot be converted easily into cash but whereas current assets we can easily convert into cash within a time period of one year examples you can give it as a cash inventory and prepaid expenses business transaction any dealings of business which involves trading trading means buying and selling of goods or services in exchange of some value that is money such type of trading will be called as a business transactions means buying and selling of any goods or services the exchange of value will call it as a business transactions in business transactions we will be having two types of transactions cash transaction as well as credit transaction cash transaction means after getting the goods and services into hands immediately if you are paying the cash and closing the transaction we will call it as a cash transaction and credit transaction we will receive the goods as of today and we will pay the cash in the future time period that will be called as a credit transaction cash discount cash discount can be given by the seller to the buyer in return for paying a bill before the scheduled due date means in case of credit transactions a customer who has to pay the amount to the seller so if he pays the amount before the scheduled date then a seller will go for allowing the discount for the particular buyer that is called as cash discount and trade discount it will be made on the full invoice price means a customer who buys goods in ordinary course of trade means you will go for purchasing regularly from the same supplier on the, the total full invoice price on the total in full invoice price the trade discount will be allotted for the particular customers debt it's nothing but customer owns money to the company means if a customer has to pay certain amount to the particular company we will called as a debt it will arises in case of credit fails here debt can be three types that is good debts doubtful debt and bad debts good debt means there is a guarantee of getting the amount repaid and doubtful debt it may or may not be repaid by the customer bad debt it will not be repaid by the customer so for the entire lifetime and bad debts recovered customer is said to be a bad debt if he repays the his due later in the financial years of the business then it will be said as a bad debt recovered sales earning of revenue for the goods and services rendered means whatever the goods and services you are rendering for your customers from that whatever the amount you will get that will be called as a revenue here sales means earning of revenue means the trading selling of goods will be called as a sales cash and credit sales cash is received as soon as the sales are made means if you are handovering the goods or services to the customer immediately if the customer pays you then it will be called as the cash sales and if goods are handed over to the customer and the amount will be paid in the later stages of financial year then it will be called as a credit sales and if the goods are returned by the customer to the business then it will be called as the sales return 
purchase yes so whenever you are going to exchange for money means the thing which you are purchasing by paying some money will called as a purchases here if you are paying the cash and carry transaction means immediately you are paying and getting the product to your hands that will be called as a cash purchase but if the payment is made after few days or after months and goods are re- received immediately that will be called as a credit purchases and whatever the goods you are purchasing if the goods are return to the supplier then it will be called as a purchase returns or return outwards debtor a person who has to pay the amount to the particular business or particular company he is called as the debtor debtor will be present in case of the credit sales of goods and services and creditor a person or a firm or a company where the enterprise has to pay the amount to the particular person will called as a creditor drawings it is the amount of money or the value of goods which has been taken by the proprietor or partner for his domestic or personal use whenever a proprietor takes amount from the company for his personal use it will be called as a drawings drawings will reduces the total investment or total capital in the company because he is taking the amount from the company's capital and drawings will appear only in the accounts of sole proprietorships and partnership firms depreciation it is a fall in the value of an asset means the whenever the value of an asset is decreasing then we will called as a depreciation why the value of an asset will go for decreases because of its usage when we are using assets for a time period the value of the asset will go for continuously decreasing and with the passage of time means time passes on so the value of the asset will go for depreciates and in case of obsolence and in case of accidents so in both the cases the value of the asset will go for depreci- depreciate so whenever the value of an asset falls or decreases we will call it as a depreciation hope you all understood about the accounting terminologies explained in the video please stay tuned for my channel for more and more updates like share and subscribe my channel for more and more